you know, I just got done talking to the guys. We've had you know a couple of weeks that we've been preparing for the Memphis Tigers, uh, playing them Friday evening at 6:01. I told my guys, I, in my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd be 1983 when I was a sophomore beat coach at uh, Shiny Mission Northwest High School that I'd be coaching on a, a game on ESPN. It's because ESPN wasn't invented then. But uh, we're, we're excited about it. It's a good opportunity for us to go out and, 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 and uh, you know, play a really, really good opponent. I, I got a lot of respect for Coach and what they do over there in Memphis. They've been good year in and year out. Uh, tough place to play. You know, they've got one of the highest uh, winning records and as far as home games are concerned in the country. I know we haven't had very good luck there. Uh, so we're going to need to play great Friday night. Why, why, why do you think the games have kind of gotten away from you? Well, they've been pretty good. They've been really good and uh, got good players. And uh, heck, one year I think they had, I don't know what exact number, but quite a few guys drafted in the first three rounds. They had good players, good coaches, and they do a good job. What are your first impressions of this team on both sides of the ball? You know, defensively, they got a really good front. And, uh, they, and they play tough schedule. You know, they, they had Missouri up until. You know, the end of the ball game offensively, I think they've got a great quarterback. He's a dual threat kind of guy. A good run game. They got a transfer running back from ODU. He's a really good player and a really nice uh, uh, stable of receivers. Uh, you know, uh, they got a good return game uh, as far as special teams are concerned. So just a very good overall team. It's been a, it's been a while. Did you remember the last time you won that? I already heard. Someone told me 1998. Twice in the Liberty Bowl that year, right? Once Memphis and once, uh, who was it, BYU? That year they played 98. You know, so two, so two times that year. So, and yeah. I know you weren't responsible for all of those, but that's a long <laughs> time, right? Yeah, it's a long time. It is, you know, and they, they've uh, you know, they've done, done a great job with their program. They've, they've had some uh, excellent coaches there over the years, and, uh, you know, and uh, no, no difference this year. Oh, you know, you just got to prepare for the team that you're getting ready to play. I think that's so important. You know, you, you, uh, you know, somebody had a book on that. Was it every week's a season? You know, and they, that's that's really kind of what it is. You got to shift gears each week. And the opponents you're going to play, and you know, and uh, you know how you're going to prepare for them because everybody's a little bit different. You know, but I, I really believe you. you you sit back and revel in past successes, you're not going to be as good as you can be. And you sit around and pile over past uh, failures, you're not going to be as good as you can be. So we try as best we can to live in the present. Uh, having, the, I, I know you've had success after bye weeks and you've had some some tough games after bye weeks. Is there anything you did to tweak the bye week? No, I haven't done anything different. You know, probably means I've been coaching a long time. <laughs> but uh, we've, uh, we, we, we really try to keep our schedule consistent. And, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, we just try to keep it the same as much as we can at home or on the road. Yeah. You know, I actually had a coach the other day uh, call me and he was getting ready, to, they were getting ready to play Saturday and they wanted to, you know, I want to see your schedule. You guys have won a bunch of games on the road. And uh, my only answer to him was, you know, we, just, we do the same thing. You know, that's how, how we prepare each and every week. Is this a coach's game coming off of a bye week like that? Do you think that's oh, what, what you know, do is even more important this week or not? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm not I'm not sure. You know, I just think it's uh you know, the thing I've learned over the years is you can overdo it in the bye week. You do too much stuff. You know, we went last week, we lifted and watched the game from the week before on Monday. We practiced Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, gave the guys off Friday, Saturday, and then we started back up again. On Sunday, and you know, Sunday was like a Monday. Monday's like a Tuesday, etc. And just kicked everything up a day. So, uh, uh, you know, just got to be careful of doing too much. Like some people, and early in my career, I probably did that. I thought it was better to practice three hours than two hours. You know, two days out, I learned learned my lesson. <coughs> yeah, I think we're pretty healthy right now. 
I think we are. What does what the week do for your quarterback? I think good. I think he's, uh, you know, feels great, looked good today, and everything that we did, and, and uh, I think it was good for me. You know, it's, it's, uh, uh, you know, that was part of the bye week process is, you know, getting him and about six or seven other guys as healthy as we could get him. Oh, it's real important. You know, he's a really good player. I think one of the best quarterbacks in the country. And, I, you know, I, I certainly, you know, want, want him feeling fresh and frisky. Well, I want to congratulate him. That's great for Troy. Uh, you know, he's done a super job here, and uh, we wish him nothing but the best. Would you, um, you know, when you look at the college football RPI, you and Memphis are the top two teams in the league as far as the rankings. Does, does that place any extra emphasis on this game? You know, I, I place a lot of emphasis on every single game. You know, I just got done telling those guys, we're guaranteed to play 12 of these, and that's it. You need to better put everything into it. The Apostle can, but certainly, you know, they're, they're a very, very uh, strong contender for the AAC, you know, title. I, I know, uh, you know, they got a good squad. Yeah, I've talked to him, and, and uh, you know, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, this is part of athletics. You know, yeah, it's just part of it, and uh, you know, we, we wish him and his family the, the very, very best. Well, I, you know, luckily we got uh, President Fitz in charge of that, and he'll do a fantastic job of. Uh, Find a choice predecessor. Yeah, he's, he's a good, good player. Really runs with power and uh, a good speed. He had a he had a run against Boise that was just outstanding near the goal line. You know, he went for over a thousand yards last year at ODU with a uh, really high uh, yard per carry average. So you know, he's one of the top backs in our conference. Oh, I don't know. I've uh, been playing a long time, I guess. Probably the, the one thing, we've been, you know, we've got a long history of playing against each other. Cities aren't too far apart. Coach, I know that you are very meticulous about the whole putting the ball on the ground thing. Um, how does a running back uh, get out of the doghouse Well, you know, he's, he's going to get another opportunity. You know, all of, all the guys will get an opportunity sooner or later. I was just talking to a young man about this this morning. He wants his role to be expanded. And I told him, hey, best, my best advice for you is to keep practicing as hard as you possibly can, and you're going to get an opportunity, and we'll see if you're ready or not, and, and, and those kind of things. But, uh, yeah, you just got to got to work on it. And, you know, no one wants to fumble, you know, and nobody wants to do that. But, you know, it's, it's my job to try to, uh, you know, press the guys as much as I can during practice and, you know, understand, you know, I, I heard, was hearing somebody talk about, uh, I was actually talking about, I think, with Michael the other day, you know, uh, Texas got beat by Oklahoma. And the reason they got beat was they were minus three and turnover takeaway. You know, if they were plus three, they won probably by two touchdowns. So it's just, uh, it's the number one stat in football. Everybody good? Thank you. Thank you all.